last one with a ruffle yarn that has a railroad structure or an open box structure at the edge of the yarn, the first thing you want to do is because there's a little bit of a rough edge is to fold over these first two boxes so that they overlap the second two boxes that will tuck the edge of your yarn away into your project and then just treat those as if they were one stitch each. To cast on, you're actually picking up stitches by putting your needle into these open spaces that are at the edge of the yarn. You want to go from back to front, wrap up and over, into the back of the yarn and towards you, up and over, into the yarn and towards you again so that when you're ready to knit these stitches, the legs of the stitches are oriented in the correct direction. And you keep doing that until you have the desired number of stitches on your needle. And when you do, you simply turn it around and get ready to knit. In order to knit with this yarn, you can either knit it very traditionally in through the front leg, wrap the yarn up and over. At this point, you can make the decision, do I want to knit into the next box, into two boxes away, three boxes away. The choice that you make will determine how roughly the end product is. Up and over, just as you would normally. If you want to make the product even more roughly in the end, you can knit into the back leg of the stitch. To bind off using this yarn, you can just do a traditional bind off, knitting the first stitch, knitting the second stitch, then using the left needle, pass that first stitch over the second stitch, and then continue on. Knitting one stitch, passing the first stitch over that new stitch, and off the needle. You want to be sure that you're doing this loosely so that the edge of your scarf or shawl doesn't pull too tightly together. 